and we are live. Bum, 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 And we got our first attendee. Oh my Carolina gosh, and Julia. Hello. Thanks Hello. for joining Caroline and Julia. Thanks for joining <laughs> Catherine and Manders. <gasps> Manders, <gasps> Kat, all the way Thank from Munchy. Welcome Lisa and Rachel and Sarah and Sarah and the Garbers and Travis. Hello, Travis. <laughs> Tricky trap. Travis, we were wanting an update on your election, if you can send it in. Wesley was very curious. Hello, Cooper and Maggie and Malcolm. Thanks for joining us. Wesley, you're muted. Hey, everybody. <laughs> there he is. Hey, Wesley. As you all can see, we have special guests with us today, Cap Smith and AK. We'll get to know them in a little bit, but thank you all so much for joining. Um, Wesley, that uh, setting looks a little bit familiar. Where are you right now? Um, I've had to ditch the gardening and, and uh, abandon college campus uh, for Ridge Haven. Excited to be here. Wesley is thankfully with us now at Ridge Haven. He's actually right outside. You're so close yet so far. <laughs> we are keeping appropriate social distancing. So, <laughs> so Wesley is here. So everybody, I've got good news. Um, Travis Hutchinson won his election in a landslide last week. Wow. Congrats to our own Travis Hutchinson uh, at his election. The Garbers say hello as well, and Maggie hello, Marshall Garber. says hi. And Catherine Horn has joined on. Woo! Hey, Catherine Horn. Hey, it, Catherine. Travis says, LOL, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Travis. Lincoln Claire. Hello. Thanks, y'all, for joining on. For you that are joining on, if you'd like to interact with us, you can submit comments or questions into the Q&A uh, option at the bottom of your screen. It's, you know, technically you're submitting a question, but you can submit a comment. We can read it and respond. We'll be using that question and answer for a couple activities later. So this is your chance to get familiar with it. Hello, Hannah. Hannah Jensen, thank you for joining us. The Allens are on again. The Allens. Here's my question, Kat. Is it? Yeah. I imagine in uh, Muncie, there's still snow on the ground. Is that true? It is almost May, so there is definitely a foot of snow. It's been tragic. Um, no, Cameron, we've not had snow in like almost a week. Uh, wait, really? You had it a week ago, though? <laughs> It'll literally be <laughs> like 75 cool. degrees, and then you look out and you're like, is that hail, snow, or is it like the petals falling from the trees? We don't know. <laughs> The weather here, Wesley is showing off the weather here at Ridge Haven. It is beautiful. Nice. It's perfect. Wesley couldn't handle that boon weather anymore and had to it's, come. It's been, it's been so nice. Like, I do not think there's been a single second that I could not have been outside in short sleeves and, and shorts. There you go. Awesome. I mean, I could come to Ridge Haven this summer. Terrible choice. The weather is well, great. It, it, there's not been a moment where I could have done it and it would have been a bad choice. Yeah. I'll say that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's probably pretty warm where you are, right? Oh, yes. Here in the south, the south of North Carolina. Pretty warm. <laughs> I don't think we had snow this year at all. At what? Any point. Yeah. yeah Georgia. We, we didn't have a lot of snow in Boone either. We at Ridge Haven, we got two good snows this year. Um, we got one that was around oh, all Saturday, and it was like four or five inches, um, but everything was covered. Uh, we had a group here, Clemson, RUF, shout out to Clemson, uh, was here on a retreat, and it was just perfect timing. I mean, their kids were doing everything out in the snow, and then by Sunday, it cleared off, and they were able to head back safely. How do you guys think are changing if there's no snow? Sorry, what'd you say? I said, how do you even know the seasons are changing without snow? I don't understand. <laughs> How is South it's perpetually yeah. spring. <laughs> it's slightly colder. Slightly colder. <laughs> slightly. Right, well, it's 104. We will get started. Anyone else that's going to join us? Um, Anna Jensen has asked me about my garden. Uh, oh, yes. We do need the last update, Wesley. Um, so uh, I've trusted <laughs> with the furthering of the garden project. I personally planted kale and spinach. Um, I invested most of the equipment um, and we, you know, tilled the soil um so now we're just waiting on uh, stuff to grow wesley we'll my see. question remains do you think your garden will still be there when you get back in the fall uh i have high expectations for my <laughs> to 
roommates. I'm with AK and Cat. I'm not. That's what I'll say. If they're tuned in, I have high expectations for you, Hank and Wade. All right. Well, in Rock Hill, South Carolina, Catherine said they had snow one time. And uh, the Garbers, birthday in four days. Happy early birthday. Um, Glad that you are joining us. All right. Let's get started. AK and Cat, thank you all so much for joining us. I just have a couple questions for y'all. And the first one is, what have y'all been up to? How's it been lately? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, what are you doing? I feel like I haven't done much. I don't know. I feel like <laughs> wake up every morning super pumped to get my cup of coffee and get cracking on those books, you know? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just so excited. I have so much motivation, actually. Um, I'm just living my best life out here. Okay. Well, great. So you are still doing school then? Oh, yes. <laughs> You're I, a good student. <laughs> Kat, what oh. you been up to lately? So I'm plugging my phone in right now. Okay. <laughs> so we're looking at the um, <laughs> doing great so, so I actually stopped working at Ridge Haven to get a real job like outside of happiness uh-huh. um don't the guys plot twist work at Ridge Haven your whole life we all thought we were <laughs> going your to your whole life you heard it here first <laughs> you should have done it that's all I'm saying Wesley stick around um but I have been going to work every day <laughs> so that's what I've been doing um I'm a trauma therapist up in Indiana and yeah it's been a lot of people are sad right now so that's guys stay crazy. away from each other but like talk to people call them call your people go for that's walks my walks grandma are- says wait what is she, she says <laughs> socially no distance socializing that's what she calls it distance socializing it's so cute <laughs> it's so great um well uh that's great what has been y'all's favorite quarantine activity do you want me to go first Kat? You, yeah. go first. you got okay. this yeah um, really- my favorite quarantine activity oh oh okay i got it i was trying to think my sisters i have two little sisters and we go on our daily drives um in our empty college yeah. town i live in athens so it's very empty all the students are gone <laughs> And we just go drive and listen to camp music, yes. all of our barn session. Oh yes, 500 miles. Taught yes. taught Ella the 32 step yesterday. So <laughs> while driving in the car, that's while impressive. Driving. Yes. <laughs> yep. But you weren't driving, of course. Oh, that'd be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't drive. That'd be crazy. <laughs> that sounds so fun, Cat. What's been your favorite quarantine activity? Um, I've been, uh, working on my coffee making skills. That's been up there. Um, I've been wedding planning and rearranging my room. That's what I, is that the order of priorities? You know, coffee is the most important than wedding planning than the, okay. Yeah. (laughs) I said that right. Just coffee and then wedding stuff. And then wedding. (laughs) All right. Last question I have for you all. What is your favorite place at Ridge Haven? Favorite place at Ridge Haven? I just think it's Bunkhouse One. I just have to put it out there. (laughs) Bunkhouse One. That was Hannah Ertle's uh, answer, too. It smells the worst, probably, but... Uh (laughs) Yeah, Hannah Ertle said Bunkhouse One. It's the best. It's just the best. I love it. Okay, I could literally list 14 places better than Bunkhouse One. (laughs) give one answer um my favorite place is either the s curve yep um, like when you're driving into ridge haven the area where they have like that clearing and you like look out and it's the mountains and like you get the like misty mountains vibe and it's very mm-hmm. you feel very like in touch with dragons um so that area or on the continental divide with gina just <laughs> gina and i had the gina is where my wonderful wife and- she's perfect and Kat and Gina became best friends on the Continental Divide. <laughs> All I'm saying, one day we interns, we decided to clear the divide. We were out there for eight and a half hours without food. It was a may t- not have gotten lost. We, oh, we were definitely lost. Gina fell a lot of times. She always trips. She's so cute. <laughs> that She's is so her. great. All right, uh, one more question. Uh, let's just uh, catch us all up on how many years have y'all been coming to Ridge Haven? as either camper, uh, CSI, ca- counselor, how long? 
Okay, mine's significantly less than Kat's is going to be, but I think mine's four. So I was a CSX, nice. which is like, we don't do it anymore, but it's like a camper CSI <laughs> UV thing. That was your first, that was your first time at Rich Haven? It was. I'd never been before that. What? Wow. What? Yeah. Awesome. It's so weird. And then I was a CSI for three years, and then I'm coming back as an ops. Operation staff. So. Oh. Huh. That was such a bold first choice to do. I don't know part. what I do. Well, I don't know. I mean, it was great. Obviously, it worked out, but like. Yeah, it worked out. Kat, <laughs> how many? So I was a camper. I want to say I was a camper three or four times before I became an intern. Um, but I was an intern three times. Um, yeah. Yep. And then I was a counselor once. It was a fun time. <laughs> and then I'm now a full time counselor. So it's a different story. Yeah. And. <laughs> then I was intern director once and camp director once. And then you but came I've to the camper back. like how many times? I, it was over a decade because uh, I worked there for six summers. Decade. So it was over a decade wow. in general of being at camp. And then I've come back for like, I worked a winter camp weekend like last year. I just come back randomly. I like to pop in. <laughs> Kat, if you come to Rich Haven, odds are Cat will be here doing something that you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> like from Indiana, like drove right, from. I've got a challenge for you all now, and this is not only for um, our staff here participating, but also for you at home, our guests. Uh, everyone is welcome to participate in this challenge. Here's what it is: this is the get that challenge, and I'm gonna say an item. <gasps> oh no! Go and get it. No. And then you have to say. bring it back. Okay. And then you have to submit into the uh, question and answer uh, section, you know, hey, I got it, that it's here. And first yeah, person to get back with it wins. So okay. the get got it. that challenge. And Wesley, you also have to participate. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You're I outside, so. Damn, I'm so far from where I'm staying right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first item. First item. First okay. person wait, wait, to go wait, wait, get wait. it and bring question, it back. Question. Yes. question. Wait. So do we have to write in the comment section? Yeah. Or can we just I found it? Y'all can just y'all can just once you get back just say it. Okay. okay. I'm just if I need to get my ramifications All right. and grammar. First item that you need to get yeah. is a number two pencil. Oh my gosh. Bring me a number <laughs> two a pencil. Who's <laughs> gonna get it? I just see Wesley just taking I off around the building. The pencil right here. It says false. I got it. That got it. We got one. Addie got one. Amy and Ian. The Reinhardt's got it. Luke and Claire. The Garbers. Maggie. Wow, y'all are so quick. <laughs> Why did everyone oh, get this? AK one? got it. Wesley, you yeah, got it. Y'all get... are like on top of it. <laughs> Wesley's... Wesley's in here still looking for it. Any luck? <laughs> Wesley, you're doing your best. <laughs> I said move on without it. All right. <laughs> well done. Well done. All right. Next item. Go and get your favorite t-shirt. Go, go and get your favorite t-shirt. This Ask one is not my favorite, favorite. t-shirt. That's not a t-shirt. Love for far. <laughs> nice. AK's got it. We got it found. Travis said he was already also, wearing it. Well, that works out. The Garber's we already wearing it. One. Andrew's already got it. All right. Well done, Hannah. Catherine, nice. All right, well done. Opal got it. Okay. Opal, good, Opal. Good. Everyone's bringing them in. Well done, Reinhardt's. Travis, why are you not changing your shirt? Well done. Yeah, Travis, you've been wearing that shirt all week. Yeah, I got a pencil. Oh, oh Wesley. Yay, got Wesley. <laughs> I got a pencil. Here we go. <laughs> I'm on the board. Well done, Wesley. All right, Wesley, here. This, this one, will, this one uh, I think you can get. Next item. First person to get a leaf and bring it inside. Get a leaf and you got to bring it. Leaf, go. go Wesley, I see like a hundred leaves around you. <laughs> Boom. I'm going to count my succulent. Oh! <laughs> AK counted her succulent and Wesley has a leaf. Cat's getting a bullet. Go I'm all locked in. Wow, y'all are fast. <laughs> you can't even count the leaf and Andrew, you already have leaves inside. Wow. Oh, that works out all right. Here you go. My cat's yeah, I'm with you. 
AK, you got the succulent. All right, that counts. Okay, that counts. It has leaves on it, Cameron. It has leaves on it. Oh, ow, right. you can call these leaves. The last item. Hmm. Oh, my fiance's here. Hey, Matt. Hey, Chris. What up? Oh, hi. All right, the last item that you need to get is your favorite Ridge Haven t shirt. Oh no. Favorite Rich Haven. <laughs> Wait, Wesley, I'm Wesley has no chance. <laughs> I'm wearing it, and here's my other Five minutes. Kat, do you just carry around Rich Haven sweatshirts with you? I'm wearing it. This sweatshirt is from my first summer. Shout out to Reagan Huseman. We used to mail it back and forth to each other. That is so sweet. Oh, that's that a great is the best thing I've ever heard. Andrew, just, just, you need to get a Rich Haven t shirt. Come this summer, oh okay. and grab one. Hannah said that's her. Whoa! <gasps> that's the one I sleep in. That's the best shirt. Okay, that's a good one. It's so comfortable. She's wearing hers right now. Yeah, Opal's Opal wearing one. it. Wonderful. Hey, you don't have a Rich Haven shirt? That's terrible. You should get one. Yeah, we. I was to grab the summer. I was to grab my favorite Rich Haven T-shirt. It would have been the Rich Haven mock turtlenecks. I would just like <laughs> to be known. That was the <laughs> <laughs> Hands down. Nope. Favorite you've ever had. Thank y'all so much. Wow, we got so many submissions. Um, thank y'all so much for joining. Um, this has been great. All right, um, Wesley, let's see what do we have going on next. Wesley, let's ask the people what they have been up to lately. Yeah, what have y'all? Uh, wait, oh, Cam. Yeah, what's up? Oh, no. Cameron. What? Bear. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Wesley, you had me scared. <laughs> Billy, what up? Billy, how have you been? Good? Billy's been good? Okay, Billy. Billy, what have you been working on? What are you up to? Oh, Billy just said she's been working on Mission Impossible. Billy, that's awesome. Okay, Billy, you want to show us some of your Mission Impossible moves? All right, Billy, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very effective move billy if you're at home i hope you're practicing these as well come on cat come on ak let's see your best yeah cat ak we want to see what you got <laughs> my best one is just just hiding from the camera oh, that's a good one <laughs> you can't see me AK, okay what you got? mine is like doing the worm all across the, <laughs> all across the field. Yeah. 100% success rate. It's never. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you do the worm this summer, I will not tag you. Ooh, that's, that's, out that's, that's, good. Good. that's a good off. Yeah, that's good. That's what Billy's saying. Commando. Billy, can you do the way, the worm? I'd like to see Billy do the worm. <laughs> right, I would go. love to see Billy. No, on the ground. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. <laughs> Can Billy do it? Oh, Billy's saying no. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining awesome. us. Billy, Billy, All right. Billy. Bye. Wait, Bye, AK. Billy. AK, that is that so awesome that Billy Wait, what? Is that shirt still in the gift shop? It was last summer, and it was this winter. I sold a lot of them this winter. It's still here. So I would say yes. I have, like, literally put a hole in my shirt like that because I wear it so often to sleep in. It's my favorite. <laughs> that I'm like I need another one but I didn't know if they still sold them so it's good I to think know. they do I can I got you we'll figure it out all right Wesley you're getting uh called out on our uh comments here that you were not social distancing from the bear Ooh. That, that is, oh. now I have not heard any reports of bears they having get it. Uh, the virus so I've think... heard about tigers but not bears so yeah all right, so let's hear from you all. What have y'all been up to? Submit it into the question uh, comment uh, area below. And let's wow. see, Opal has been working out, riding bikes, running, taking walks with friends, cool chalk designs, Nerf Wars, Airsoft. Holy cow. That wow. is a lot. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, Opal. I'm really yeah. doing a lot out here. That's a lot. That's awesome. <laughs> I just saw uh, Paige Anderson walking a dog here on the road, which was kind of cool. Go outside, walk your dogs. Training for a marathon? Yep. Wow. Okay, Mander said she's been Man. baking, learning to cook new things, and training for a marathon. 
Oh my god. Sanders, that is awesome. Don't Just do like that. Also, mm. Manders was on staff with us for many years. We love Manders. Um, she's married to another Ridge Haven staffer, Michael Davison, and they're out in uh, out near Indianapolis, I believe. Yep. So that's awesome. Indiana. Biking. The Reinhardts have been biking. I love that. <clears throat> Talking uh, to Hannah. Uh, Kat, Travis says that you run marathons. Can you confirm uh, or deny? Um, I can a thousand percent deny. I have done one 10K in my life, and the last like 0.5 miles of it, I thought I was done already. And so let me just tell you, when I found out that I still had to keep running, it was a bad time for everyone involved. Um, no, Travis. You know how I feel about running. Also, Travis doesn't think I can run. So, also. <laughs> God is physically incapable of running. <laughs> Grayson, I like so Grayson is making mac and cheese right now. Can mm. I? Awesome. Such an exercise, honestly. Grayson and I have been uh, preparing for worship this summer. We're so excited to be able to worship with y'all um, this summer and uh, in like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <In the room. laughs> Wait, I garden. have a story. Can I share my running story? Yes, please. Okay, so my fiance just commented, tell them the softball story. So I was playing a slow pitch church softball league, okay, which means okay. the youngest person on this team by far because it's a church league. Okay. And my fiance and I had only been dating for like four or five months. So we've like not done a lot of physical activity near each other. And I, I only get a hit and I start running. Also my fiance, call him out, missed the first three games for other commitments where I did like decently. My first at bat, I hit it. I start taking off and pull my quad muscle. I don't know if y'all have ever pulled a quad muscle. It is so cool. I like, but I start like limping to the next base and then I run to second because like obviously can't stop because I'm too competitive to just be in pain and by the time I get to third base I out someone to run for me my fiance thought that's how I ran my fiance did not send out a replacement runner because he thought I guess I'll learn to love her that run like I'm literally limping falling running he's like well I guess she's not athletic we need a video of that <laughs> it was it was brutal, and he was like, yeah, I just thought you couldn't run well. All right, Wesley, I'm going to pass it off to you to lead us in some worship. Awesome. Thanks, Cameron. Um, Y'all, I'm so glad we get to worship uh, together today. Um, it's such an awesome thing uh, to be able to worship, uh, even in the midst of this time of crisis, and especially in a time of crisis. Um, many of uh, our best songs um, and our best Laments. In fact, the best that we can find is in the Psalms. And all the Psalms do, uh, in many ways, is express a heartfelt emotion to God. So even in this time um, of, of suffering and crisis, uh, we're not able to be together. Um, we're still able uh, to worship uh, and to bring all things that we experience to God. Um, and that's through song and through prayer. So let's worship together. We're going to start with a camp favorite. It's Ain't No Rock. Um, we love this one here. Um, so yeah, let's sing along. There's some hand motions. I'm sure AK knows them, and AK and Kat um, will be doing them in the uh, in the video parts. So if you want to watch them and follow along, uh, we're going to do this thing. Let's do it. Ain't no rock going to cry in my place. As long as I'm alive, I glorify his holy name. Ain't no rock. Gonna cry in my place. Sometimes I'm alive, I glorify his holy name. And praise his holy name. Sometimes I'm alive, I glorify his holy name. And praise his holy name. Sometimes I'm alive, I glorify his holy name. Ain't no bird gonna sing in my place.
Long as I'm alive, I glorify His holy name. Ain't no tree gonna wave its branches. Long as I'm alive, I glorify His holy name. Awesome, y'all. It's so great to worship uh, together with one another. Um, this next one reminds us of the Christian life. This song is, uh, what it is for us is, um, it is a full reflection of what it means uh, to live out our faith in the midst of hard times. The Christian life is not easy. Uh, a lot of us uh, think that when we are saved, uh, life becomes easy and we no longer face trials, but instead, sometimes it's the opposite. Uh, that in, as soon as we are believers, um, we face trials that mold us in our faith and uh, bring us closer to God. Um, and so let's sing together. Um, this is uh, just a classic uh, hymn. We love it here at camp. Um, and so, yeah, let's sing together.
Let's pray together. Dear Lord, thank you for allowing us to still meet, to still be able to conduct these barn sessions, uh, to still be able uh, to just join uh, in fellowship with one another, to worship. Uh, thank you for providing us with your son who died on the cross for our sins. Thank you for giving us the gospel. Uh, and let us understand uh, to a newer level uh, the depth of our need for you during this time. Help this time to give us rest and to reorient our lives uh, so we can better serve you and, uh, and experience grace uh, through the gospel of your son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Wesley. All right, we are going to hear uh, now again from Uncle Archie as he concludes his Pilgrim's Progress series. Now, if you've been joining us, Pilgrim has been journeying on from the city of destruction. He went um, and lost his burden at the cross. He went by the beautiful castle and got the armor of God. He was joined by his faithful travel companion, Hopeful. And now um, they find themselves in quite a predicament. They um, decided to go off the straight and narrow path and were captured by the giant and taken to Doubting Castle. So now we are going to find out, can they escape? Um, will they be able to finish their journey to the Celestial City? Let's hear from Uncle Archie. Rich Haven campers, families and friends, we're glad you're here, and we do hope, campers, families, that you are inviting your friends to let's learn together of Christ. Even some boys and girls or young people who've not even been to Ridge Haven, invite them to come and learn of Christ as we study Pilgrim's Progress together. Always invite others to watch and let's learn together, okay? I'm glad we have these times. In our story, Pilgrim and his friend Hopeful have left the city of destruction. They've lost the burden of their sins as they went to the cross and began trusting in Christ as they're turning from going their own way to Christ. It's all of grace. It's not by our efforts. It's not by our performance. It's not by being good enough. It's Christ's life, his death, his resurrection, that we can lose our burdens of sin. And they have gone to the beautiful castle. They have received the full armor of God, and now they're on their way. But, Going to the celestial city is not always easy, nor always fun. It can be very difficult in our lives, disappointments. And they became disappointed, and they got off the road and tried Easy Street. And there on Easy Street, they are clocked by the giant, the giant of despair, the giant of discouragement. And the giant took Pilgrim and Hopeful to his castle and threw them into his dungeon. And the giant has told them they will never get out of the dungeon of discouragement and depression, that they will die there. Oh, they, Pilgrim would open up the Bible to learn, to get encouragement, to give hope in their times. They would read together through that little bit of sunlight. They came through holes in the wall or through the window. I'm sorry, hopeful. I'm sorry that I told you to let's take easy street. I wish we had not. 
But they were encouraged that they would read verses such as from the Bible. Remember the sword of the spirit promises, I will never leave you nor forsake you, says Jesus Christ to his own. He'll never leave us. He'll never forsake us, even when you go through hard times. Or Psalm 23, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Listen, Jesus never promises to take us out of trouble, but he does promise to go with us through our trouble. Remember that, campers. Remember that, family. Remember that. Jesus never promises to keep us from trouble, but he promises to always go with us through the trouble, through the hard times. It is God's word that brings encouragement. Hopeful! I cannot believe I've been so foolish. I forgot. We have a special key that we are to use in time like this. It's called the promises of God from the scriptures. Hopeful, we've got a key. Do you think it will work? And so Pilgrim went up to that locked gate door to the dungeon. And as he put in the key, and it worked. Oh, but will it work in the next gate? So then they went to the next gate and he put in the key and oh, it worked. One more gate that goes to the outside. And as Pilgrim put the key in that last door to go outside and opens the door, the door begins to squeak so loud that it wakes up the giant of despair. Whoa, what are you doing trying to escape from my dungeon? You cannot get away. Oh. Pilgrim uses the promises of God to show the giant that he has been defeated. A scripture like Colossians chapter two, verse 15. Look at this verse. Believe it, believe it. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. That's a wonderful, wonderful promise from God. Listen, he is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came against Satan, the devil, the giant, the Apollyon, and disarmed him, means he defeated him. Christ defeated Satan at the cross and disarmed him. It means took his power away from him. That's what they do in the military. When one army defeats another, they defeat them and then they disarm them, take away their weapons. Or when a police officer comes against a criminal and arrests them. They disarm them. They take away their weapons. And that's what Jesus did at the cross and the resurrection. He disarmed the devil, all authorities, humiliating them at the Christ, at the cross. Guys, Jesus Christ has won. He's the champion. He has won against Satan. And so they are so happy. <laughs> they run back as fast as they can. They jump over the fence and they get back on the road that goes to the celestial city. <sighs> they are so relieved and happy. And who are you? Ask a stranger. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm ignorant. But you can call me Mr. Ignorant. And where are you going, Mr. Ignorant? Oh, I'm going to the Celestial City. But I see you don't have armor. 
did you go to the beautiful castle to get armor? No, I don't need armor. Oh, Mr. Ignorant, did you go to the cross and lose your burden of sin? No, I don't. I never had a burden. See, I'm good. I'm a good person. In fact, I go to church and I pray and I study the Bible and I give money to the poor people. I'm not one of those bad sinners like the two of you. No, I don't have a burden and I didn't have to go to the cross. I'm fine. Now listen, I'm going to the celestial city, says Mr. Speaker. If y'all are in a hurry, y'all go on. I'm just taking my time. I'm going to enjoy this. Remember, I am fine. Well, Mr. Speaker, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says that all of us have sinned. There is none of us right. Righteous. No, not one. Listen, I'm fine. Y'all just go on. I'm fine. Just leave me alone. And so they continued, but they felt so sorry because they knew he really was ignorant. He was not believing the truth of Scripture. He was trying to be good enough. It's good to read the Bible. It's good to go to church. It's good to pray. It's good to give your money to those who are poor. But family, that's not what makes us a Christian. It's us turning only to Christ to trust in his life, his death, his resurrection, to take away our sin and make us accepted. See, Mr. Ignorant was trusting in himself. We do not, we cannot trust in ourselves. Do not trust in being good enough. You can never be good enough. Only Christ is good enough. Pilgrim and his friend Hopeful would stop, and they enjoyed reading together and studying and praying. For the Bible says two are better than one, for we have a better return for our efforts. Live as a Christian, enjoying others, friends, going to church, learning of Christ. Oh, Hopeful. There it is. We're getting close. You see it way over there. That's the celestial city. We must wait. We must wait for them to call our name. We must wait for them to call our name. For the Bible says there is a book, the book of the Lamb that has written in it every true Christian who will enter into the celestial city. So we got to wait. So as they waited, they enjoyed talking to each other. Occasionally, someone would call out, Bob, Sue, Sam, Ralph, it's your turn. And oh, what a joy it was when different ones were being called to now enter into the celestial city. And so as they are waiting, unexpectedly, there comes who? Who is that? That's Mr. Ignorant. And he doesn't stop for them to call his name. He just keeps on walking. What, well, aren't you going to stop? Asked Pilgrim and Hope. No, remember, I don't have to wait. They will welcome me. They're glad to see me because I'm so good. Surely they'll welcome me into the celestial city because of all the good I do. I'm fine. Remember, I'm fine. I'm good. I try hard and I'm sincere. It wasn't very long. Some men were carrying Mr. Ignorant from heading to the celestial city and bringing him back and taking him to a cliff 
where they dropped him into that place of suffering, that place of torment, the Bible calls hell because Mr. Ignorant was trusting in himself to be good enough. He refused to believe that it is by grace we are saved through faith and that not of ourselves. It is not by being good enough. It's only the gift, the gift of our Lord. Remember what 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 says, but as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him. We can look forward to the grace of Christ, faith to believe on Christ, to go into the celestial city. It is far better than we could ever, ever imagine going into the celestial city to worship Jesus Christ, to honor Christ, to love Christ, to obey Christ. And now, pilgrim, hopeful, they're calling for you. <laughs> they're calling your name. Ooh, they are so happy, but look, what is that? It's a river. It's a river that they must cross as they go into the celestial city. Pilgrim says, is it deep? Well, for some it's deep, but it's not too deep. To others it is shallow, but you can stand. You can make it. Now keep your eye. Keep your eye on the promises of God as you proceed into the celestial city. And so they do. And it was quickly. They arrived in the celestial city. And there, it's all because of Christ. It's all because of the cross. What is it like, family? Rich Haven campers, family, you friends. What's it like in the celestial city? There's a lot we do not know. But we have enough in the Bible to tell us what it's like to live in the family, to give honor and praise and worship to Christ. Here in Revelation, the book of Revelation, Revelation is the last book in the whole Bible. Chapter 4, verse 8 tells us of this, gives us a picture of something that it's like. And the four living creatures, each of them with six wings, are full of eyes and around and within. And day and night, they never cease to say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Amen. What's it like in the celestial city? What's it like in heaven? For eternity, forever and ever, we have the privilege and responsibility to give applause to Jesus Christ, to thank Christ, to honor Christ, to worship Christ, and to see his holiness. He is holy, holy, holy. He is the perfect one. He is the Lord. Jesus Christ is the God, the almighty, powerful, strong one. There's no one stronger than Christ. He was, he is, and he is forever, Jesus Christ. We have another wonderful, wonderful description of what it's like in heaven. When in Revelation chapter 4, and whenever the living creatures give glory, 
honor and thanks to him who is seated on the throne and who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who is seated on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. And they cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Family, family, Jesus Christ is worthy of your love. He's worthy of your obedience. He's worthy of your life. Whatever you consider as valuable and important, like these elders, he is worthy for us to take everything that we think as a, think that is important and bow before Christ. Please, now at your age. And as long as you live, Will you give thanksgiving, obedience, honor to Jesus Christ? For he is our creator. We exist. We live by him. Let's pray. Father, let us know Christ. We're asking you for grace. We're asking you for faith to believe on Christ, to give him all the honor that he deserves, all the praise, all the thanksgiving, now and forever. Father, use our campers, use their families, use those in their church, use those throughout the world. Make us worshipers of Christ, in whose name, Father, in whose name we ask. Amen. Campers, family, friends of Bridge Haven, we're so thankful for you. We've enjoyed these weeks together. And again, our Lord permitting, we hope to have camp this summer. You're special to us. We're thankful for you. We're thankful for this ministry. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. I love it. I could listen to Uncle Archie share about Pilgrim's Progress all day long. <laughs> all day long. It is so great. Well, here's the moment when we say goodbye. Thank y'all so much for joining us. Um, I do have a couple quick uh, shout outs to give um, to our international viewers. Thank you so much for joining us. The Kane family in Japan. Thank y'all um, for watching. That is uh, so great. And um, also, I see that the um, Reinhardt's on here. Reinhardt's, if y'all don't know, the Reinhardt's have made some incredible uh, videos of Ridge Haven, Lego videos of Ridge Haven in activities here. And I just, I hope, you know, this quarantine time has been spent making a lot more of those because we could use some new Lego videos for Ridge Haven. So uh, it's so good seeing you all. Kat, thank you so much for joining us. The whole way from Muncie. Love to. Okay. Thank you for joining so us. The whole way from Athens. So fun. Planning your wedding. Yeah. Food well. <laughs> I'd rather you come to Canada. <laughs> and Wesley, thank you for joining us. The whole way from Robeson Porch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's so good seeing you all. We'll see you all next week. Take care. Stay safe. Uh, thank you, AK, as well. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.